Hello Guardians, another Tuesday has passed which means another weekly reset has gone live. So let's take a look at everything we have for you this week. Firstly, what you are seeing here is one of the new updates to our website this week. We have completely overhauled our database homepage to show all of this week's main events, bounties and daily missions. One very nice feature of this page is that you can see what modifiers will be in play for each round within the Prison of Elders arena the minute they go live following the weekly reset, so no team has to be blind jumping in. This page also includes your weekly nightfall missions and modifiers along with the usual daily bounties and daily missions too. Another update we have launched this week is our newer checklist page. This can be found on your player profile by clicking the My Stats tab, selecting your overview page and finally clicking on the Weekly Checklist tab. Here you will be able to find all three of your characters and what events they have completed so far this week, so you do not accidentally run things twice or forget to run something that you should have done to potentially obtain that exotic which you may be missing. Hashtag where is my Galahorn I still do not have one. Moving on to in-game activities now and this week's Nightfall is the Archon Priest with some pretty tasty modifiers which make it the easiest Nightfall in quite some time. These modifiers are Arc and Solar Burn, Small Arms and the usual Epic and Night Mall modifiers. The reason we say this week is super easy is the fact your primary weapons will be getting a damage buff from the Arc and Solar Burn if you use the right weapons and that Small Arms modifier also increases the damage of primary weapons. So if you use for example a Fade Bringer you will be hitting the enemies like a ton of bricks. Also this week sees the return of Iron Banner. As usual you can find Lord Saladin on the tower to collect your Iron Banner specific bounties and when you are leveled up enough you can buy some of the brand new Iron Banner gear which became available with the House of Wolves DLC. We will have a link in the description which shows you all of the new Iron Banner gear for each individual class and we really do suggest trying Iron Banner this week as you can buy Etheric Light for obtaining level 3 and level 5 in the playlist. Brackets, please note you can only buy 2 Etheric Light per character but it does mean you can get 6 extra Etheric Light if you play enough Iron Banner which is kind of cool. That is all for this week's activity update, we will be back with another update later next week. We hope to see you soon Guardians, take care as always.